this looks real sharp. We have our doors and other parts all jammed out. Again, we're painting the jam we call them jams mainly because it's like a door jam. It's the inside portion of all the panels. And then what we do is we bring it back out, sand the outside, and then paint the outside. It's just a process that we do. And uh, you can see that we have good coverage. Just as an affirmation, we are shooting PPG paint. It is a base coat clear coat. So meaning there's a base of color that goes on that is not, not at all shiny or flashy. And then we shoot uh, those three coats of base, and then we shoot three coats of PPG clear over that. And that's what makes it pop, it gives it all its shine. This is obviously an ambulance door. This is the left-hand door, driver side. And I just keep on showing that. That's a really key position where a striker comes down and bolts in with some linkage here. Same thing on the other side. Uh, some, uh, this is where the uh, handle goes. That's where, the, right here, the license plate on the opposite side would go. And this is where little tabs are for the wiring harness that is going to be uh, making so the lights come on. But uh, you can see this side is not painted, but we have vinyl paint on the inside. This bracket right here is if uh, where you can also have a recoil for the front driver's and passenger side seat for the seat harness that goes on the hard top. It's pretty spectacular. He's painted these in final paint. No reason to jam these. These are just small little parts, much like we have brackets and things of that nature. But uh, you can see that the uh, these are all in final paint. The underneath part of the fuel tank cover is done. Looks super sharp. All final paint on this header bar. We saw that earlier. This is where that other striker goes at the top. The one down below that would go down here for the door. We've already seen that striker. And then uh, obviously our front grill. Kind of highlighted all these pieces that were seam sealed earlier. And then finally our transmission tunnel cover, which is just jammed on the inside. Obviously, you'll never see this, so to speak, but it's just nice to have it done. The customer will appreciate it. Anybody looking at it in years to come will appreciate the fact that we've been very thorough about our paint. It looks as good on the underneath side as it does on the top side. And uh, we're, we're pretty uh, thorough with this type of uh, finish on all of our products. We want it to be uh, very thorough in, in its painting and its sealing. Not that you have to seal aluminum, let's say, but if you did it with steel, yeah, you would want to have it that way. So, so, so far, so good.